Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. I'm Katherine Munsey, a local real estate agent here in Atlanta, Georgia. In this week's video, we're going to talk about the home buying process. I'll break it into eight simple steps, so hit that subscribe button below and let's get to it. Step one is to hire a real estate agent. Now, the reason I say this is because they'll be able to advise you and coach you and walk you through the entire process. Also, real estate agents have a list of preferred vendors. So these are going to be mortgage lenders that they've worked with many, many times. And so before you go to apply for a mortgage, they may have one or two recommendations for you. Step two is to organize all your documents. You're going to need W-2, bank statements, previous tax returns, and things of that nature. Step three, apply for a mortgage. Now, most people apply for a mortgage online. I recommend applying for between like three and four. I suggest using the lenders that your real estate agent has recommended, as well as a local credit union, possibly your bank or an online bank. And I know what you're thinking. It's going to ding your credit and it is. However, if you apply for a mortgage within a 30 day period, it'll only ding your credit once. So if you apply at four different places, you're not going to get dinged four times because you're applying for the same type of loan. Once you've applied online, it usually takes two to three days to hear back and you'll receive a pre-approval letter. And the letter will state that you're pre-approved for 250,000 or 500,000 and things of that nature. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh man, this is a lot of money, this, that, and the other. However, uh, this is the, the maximum amount that the lender is willing to let you borrow. And so I would keep that into consideration when you're making your budget and when you're deciding how much you want to spend on a mortgage a month. Also, if you're in a competitive market like Atlanta, it is wise to maybe go down 10 to 20% from your max budget and that way when you put an offer in on a house and if it happens to have multiple offers, you'll have some room to compete competitively. Number four, shop for homes. To make your search easier, I suggest narrowing your search criteria to something rather specific. If you need four bedrooms, if you need a yard, if you have to stay in the school district, or you just love this neighborhood. The more specific your search criteria is, um, the better off you'll be because you'll be able to focus on such a small area and also your real estate agent will be able to let you know when new listings hit the market in an instant. Number five, find your home and make an offer. Your real estate agent will help you draft an offer for the home. You'll include what they call earnest money, which is typically one to 2% of the list price. And this is consideration. It shows that you're a serious buyer and your real estate agent will also include either your pre-approval letter or your pre-qualification letter. Your offer will either be accepted, countered, or rejected. And so if it's countered, you'll negotiate until both parties agree. If it's rejected, you can always rewrite a new offer. Um, just best to consider putting your best foot forward if your previous offer was rejected. Number six, negotiation and contract. So once your offer is accepted, you enter into a binding contract. At this point, you've agreed on the price, the closing time frame, and the closing date. Now it typically takes around 30 to 45 days to close unless you're an all cash offer. It, yeah, it's typically 30 to 45 days. Number seven, escrow period or due diligence. Now this period usually lasts about two, maybe three weeks and you'll get all your inspections on the home done during this period of time. So your home inspector will come out. I highly suggest that you attend this if you can't attend the entire duration because they do last several hours. I highly suggest arriving within the last hour to 90 minutes and that way the home inspector will be able to walk you through any troublesome areas of the home and they'll be able to explain to you why they are troublesome. So it's just, it's a great, it's just a good bit of knowledge. 
What will also occur is that the house will be appraised by a third party. And so an appraisal will come out and assess the value of the home. The appraised amount of the home needs to be equal to and or more than the agreed upon list price. And the reason is, is because the bank that's loaning you this money doesn't want to loan you more money than the value of the home. And this is because on the offset that you can't make your payments, they will take the home and resell it. So they're trying to cover all their bases, so to speak. For example, if you make an offer on a home that's $200,000 and the appraisal amount comes back at two ten, that's great. You know, $10,000 worth of equity. But if it comes back at one ninety. The bank will tell you that they're only going to loan you the 190000 and you can either renegotiate, which your real estate agent will help you do that, or um, you can make up the difference. Number eight, closing. The best part of home buying. And so at this point, or actually a few days before, your lender is going to ask you to resubmit the documents that they originally requested, such as W-2s pay stubs, bank statements, and the reason why they're doing this is because they want to ensure you're still working, you still have money in the bank, you have not made any major purchases like purchasing a car or anything like that. And so during closing, you will sign tons of paperwork, transferring the title from the seller to you, you will receive your keys, any sort of garage clicker, anything like that. And once closing is finished, you are officially a homeowner. Closing typically takes place at a closing attorney's office, sometimes at a title office. Those are the eight steps in the home buying process. If you have any further questions, please reach out to me. My information is in the description below. And be sure to hit the subscribe button because I post new videos every week. Until next time.